Uh, hey, I want to say thank you guys for being a part of uh, the beginning of Grace River Church. Uh, I think that if we're honest, a few of you may have been reluctant, right? You know, from my living room to an elementary school to the YMCA and um, just thank you for everything that you've done. And um, I thought we'd take some time and kind of share some quick stories about uh, what it was like in the beginning. You know, Kathy, you were one of the first people to invite somebody to church and you invited Jen uh, and Brian. You guys were neighbors. And um, can you speak to that for a moment? Just like what it was like to invite somebody and see him show up? Yeah, it was amazing. I just he said, hey, I'm going to this new church. Come with me and check it out. Yeah, I'm really glad you did. And, <laughs> you and, I, and you guys are still friends and we still attend the same church together all these years later. And uh, it's wild because, you know, you've invited her, you invited Jen and then and the Jen's invited her friends and her new neighbors, which is just crazy to think about. And so, Sarah, you put up with me from the beginning. Um, thank you. And I don't know, uh, you've done everything at our church from kids ministry to set up and tear down. Um, you've done it all. And I'm just really grateful for your commitment to this place. What, what have you seen over the years um, that's impacted you? It's amazing to see like all the different people that God has brought. I love watching people that don't know Jesus, like to want to be a part of something. Like they want to help and they, you know, like I remember talking to people like, I don't know anything about the Bible and it's okay. Like God just wants your heart and yeah. to see them start to serve and like welcome people and they're so proud of it. It's mm -hmm. really encouraging. Yeah. Brian and Jen, you guys were invited by your neighbor, Kathy, and uh, you just kept coming. And maybe speak to that first weekend. I kind of remember a piece of the story and uh, you were invited by Kathy and you were a little reluctant, I think, based yes. off the story. So I don't want to be a part of a church plan. <laughs> in my mind, I had pictured we're going to walk in and it's going to be like pig pen style for kids all crammed in a corner <laughs> with yeah. a gate around them. And when we walked in, it was so it was small, but it was so welcoming and organized. Organized. I and mean, we had the little keychain mm -hmm. thing to check our kids in. I'd never seen anything like it. And as we're leaving, Brian's like. I really did and then Noah and Lydia loved it and so kind of after that we were just kind of hooked. It was cool to see so many people maturing in their walk with the Lord and, and, and volunteering and doing whatever needs to be done and people that maybe don't have something to do but they just jump in somewhere and they decide hey I'm gonna volunteer you know kids check in or greeter or whatever now we got parking lot people and just you know it was just really cool to see all the growth in everybody. Yeah, yeah. In Barrett recently, um, there was a dude in your small group that got baptized and he was like the, you know, Ralph, a guy that you would never expect to take that step. And, and I heard a meeting and staff report about you being just so pumped about it. Could kind of describe some of that. Well, it's, it's exciting with, with him and, and, you know, several others that come from um, not, not going to church or haven't gone to church for a while or, you know, whatever. And then come and um, experience something different and, and come to know Jesus. And, uh, you know, that's just so awesome to see that. That was, that was the case for, for him to see the change just at that small group when, when you could kind of tell that he didn't want to be there. Um, yeah. And then, you know, or, and then, uh, you know, come to know Jesus and, and have an active relationship yeah. with Christ. Man, it's just wild to think about what's next. Uh, not, not just like what he's done. It's amazing thinking about where we came from and what ha what's happened, what God has done, how he's provided. It's also crazy to think about what God's doing right now, um, really even since we moved into this building. And it's most every weekend, someone will walk up to me after church or I'll get an email and they'll say, thanks for starting Grace River. Uh, thanks for creating a place for me to take a next step. And what I wish is that you could hear from them and um, so I actually figured out, well, maybe we can. And so uh, I actually invited some of them to come and just say thank you to you today. And so um, they're, they're here today just to say thanks to you um, for providing a place for them to take a next step uh, so they could meet, know, and follow Jesus. And uh, it's unbelievable. This is just a few of them uh, over the years that have said yes to him, or even in the last few months, some of these people and um, I just kind of wanted to give them a, a chance to say thank you to you 
um, for being a part of this from the start. It started with you. We're gonna start with Chris, actually, because Chris is the first person that said yes to Jesus in this building, uh, which is just really cool. Um, it was the first, uh, I think it was the first day here, which is crazy. Um, so, yeah. Not only has my life been transformed, but my entire family's life has been transformed. <laughs> um, you know, I walked into this, I didn't even want to be a Christian. I, I persecuted Christians, I did. And here I am today in a place where everybody can just feel like they belong. And I just thank you so much, honestly. I'm Jody. I, before Grace River, completely lost, broken, not knowing who I was or what I wanted to do with my life, and grieving the loss of my son Liam, who was still born at 34 weeks. I contemplated suicide. I had nothing left. I had no purpose, nothing. A year later, I lost a, a daughter. And so again, just completely nothing left to live for. Um, a year later, I actually had my rainbow baby, Aiden, and a friend of mine actually invited me to church. And at that point, I pulled up to the YMCA where she was getting baptized. And since then, I continue to show up every, every week. And now through Grace River, I have gone through directions the discipleship, I am open with my faith to everybody. And before Grace River, I didn't think that, you know, church was for us. We weren't church people. You guys have saved my life. You saved my husband's life. So thank you. I'm Amanda. Um, God sought me out with a new neighbor seven years ago. Jen and Brian Hecht. Um, and Jen fulfilled God's request to love thy neighbor as thyself and does every single day and just by laying on the pool chair and having natural conversation God came up and God kept coming up it was the one year anniversary of being in this building that I came finally um, to church with Jen, that it wasn't just Jen doing what she needed to do to bring somebody to Jesus, but God, sought, God said, I'm here, and sought me out in that form as well. She's been also my first real friend, the first person that ever accepted me, that made me realize that it was okay to not be okay, and that there's someone else who has me. God's got me and God's got this. And my life is forever changed. <laughs>